Hi guys, my name is Ulysses. Welcome to Livestream Ninja. This is episode five. In today's episode, we'll talk about having enough bandwidth when you're doing live streaming. It's very, very important that you have enough bandwidth because it's going to be dependent on the success of your live stream. And it's important that you actually do the test every time you do before you go live because uh, things could vary from day to day. It could be good on one day and then all of a sudden you don't have enough bandwidth the next day. It's very important that you do that test and you do a multiple test, you know, two or three times. Um, it's very, very important. So what's more important though is... Uh, when you talk about in bandwidth, uh, the most important is the upload speed. Uh, the upload speed is the one that actually connects to the streaming server that's on the cloud. So there are several tools that you can use with regards to finding out how, how fast your connection is. You could go to speedtest.net. So that's one um, website that you could run your test. It will When you run the test, um, it will connect you to the nearest server or the nearest testing server and then it will do the test and it will give you the download and the upload speed as well as your ping times. Now you could use other speed test uh, utilities out there. Comcast has one. It's called speedtest.xfinity.com. AT&T has one called speedtest.att.com. And then if you want a non-flash uh, non-flash based test there's test my net test my dot net test my dot net and as a rule of thumb when you are when let's say you you have seven megs of uh, upload second seven megabytes per second as a rule of thumb you always want to stream at half of your upload stream let's say your standard is 1500 or 2,500, or 3,500, or set, you know, at, or even a higher than that, let's say um, 5,500 uh, kilobits per second. Well, you always want to make sure that you have at least double you, that, that value, that upload speed. So let's say if you're streaming at 1,500, you want to make sure that your, your upload speed is at least 3,000 kilobits per second, or 3 megs. So that's the rule of thumb, and why is that? Because there is a little bit of overhead um, with the RTMP uh, protocol. Um, there's handshaking uh, communication that's happening between you, the, cl the client, the, the publisher, and the server. And uh, um, so it goes back and forth, back and forth. And so it's important that you actually do that. The other thing that I also want to mention is that you want to avoid monitoring your own stream um, if you are at that 50% level. If you have plenty of bandwidth and you're only streaming, at, let's say, at 2,000 kilobits per second and then your upload speed is 20, then you, you, you don't have a problem with, and you know, it's not a big deal to be monitoring your own stream. But if you are right at half I would recommend that you avoid monitoring your stream. So anyway, one of the keys, key things to having a successful live streaming is that making sure that you have the bandwidth. And that's very important that you do that and you check that every time you go live. Anyway, I uh, hope this was very helpful and we'll see you again next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to uh, follow and we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.